Damn, that hurt my hand. All right. Today's tale begins with the mailman dropping off some mail at the Adams family household. A truant officer has come by because they have two kids that have never attended school. He comes and rings the doorbell, and young Wednesday Adams answers the door and just lets him right on in. I guess that was cool in the 60s, but do not do that now. She leads him through the house and he is freaking out. Her brother Pugsley comes running down the stairs and hands her a Marie Antoinette doll, head not included. They finally arrive in the <clears throat> greenhouse and Morticia is tending to her medicinal plants. The truant officer tells her that she's not only breaking that law, but she's breaking the law by not having her kids in school. She calls Lurch and the truant officer is taken to see Mr. Adams. Gomez Adams really loves trains. The truant officer is trying to tell him that he needs to have his kids in school or whatever, but these kind of conversations make him stressed, so he lights up some Zaza. He explains that Grandmama teaches the youth, so he has nothing to worry about. The truant officer really does not heed that advice and goes on worrying about it. Uncle Fester is tired of this government overreach, and he tries to put a knife in the truant officer's medulla oblongata. With his frontal cortex intact, he goes and tells the superiors that they need to leave that peculiar family by their damn selves. Morticia and Gomez are in the greenhouse talking dirty to each other, and it's getting steamy. But they hear Lurch playing all the bangers, <laughs> so they go downstairs to get their dance. <laughs> Wednesday goes and grabs the mail from the thing and it's a letter from the school that says the kids need to go to public school or they're going right to jail. Everybody, the kids, the parents, grandmama, Uncle Fester, they're putting the thing's ass in handcuffs and Lurch, I don't know what the hell they're gonna do with him, but they're gonna put him in Gotham. They're putting everybody in jail. Morticia is cool with them going to school, but everyone else is mortified. Uncle Fester starts expunging electricity as a defense mechanism in the same way that electric eel will. The next morning, they're at the school and the officer is still ducking him. He's a drunk now, unfortunately. The public school system take Wednesday and Pugsley away and start trading recipes for torturing people with the parents. They hit it off so well, Gomez offers to send her the numbers for the shooters from Belly if the superintendent doesn't start sending funding or something like that. Pugsley drives them home after school and upon arrival, young Wednesday Adams is bawling. The literature that they have given the children has traumatized them. The book is called Gifted Hands and the Cuba Gooding Jr. remake they showed the kids really scared them. The parents are furious that the kids were exposed to that balderdash so they plan to have a visit with the truancy officer Mr. Hiller. He is most certainly not down so they gotta go send Lurch to uh, kidnap him. It is very effective, he's pretty good at it. They begin the shakedown and let him know that murder is not a little thing. They ring for Uncle Fester and Grandmama who bring an assortment of creepy accrued Hillard wants to leave, so the thing restrains him. Then they threaten to have Lurch put his ass on the torture rack. They tell him it would most behoove him to go to the school board and tell them to take that vile literature out the school. He leaves expeditiously in fear of his life. It's later and Fester and Big Mama have a game of spades going. Morticia receives a call and the school board has enthusiastically accepted their ideas. Lisa Loring, the actress who played the original Wednesday Adams, passed away January 28, 2023 at the age of 64 due to a stroke caused by hypertension. RIP, you definitely still have love out there and power to the family.